Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the Microsoft Edge update installation error code status invalid image hash on your Windows 10 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial guys, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So the first thing you want to do is, however you normally access Microsoft Edge, whether it be a taskbar shortcut or an icon on the desktop or through the start menu search. So the first thing you want to do is go ahead and if you have a desktop shortcut for Microsoft Edge, you can just right click on that. Otherwise, we're going to go ahead into the start menu search and just type in Microsoft Edge. And you're going to go ahead and right click on it and then select open file location. Right click on the shortcut in here and you want to select properties. Now after the edge at the end here, you see the edge and then there's a parenthesis. You want to go one step beyond that, so do a space and then paste in a path I'm going to have in the description of the video here. It starts with minus sign disable. Again after this end quotation mark and then you have a space in here and then paste in exactly what you see here. Then you're going to select apply, select continue and then select OK at this point. Now if you were to go ahead in here and go back to this PC. So go ahead and left click on that on the left side. Double click on your local disk. Double click on program files. Double click on Microsoft. And then Edge. Then application. Now you want to rename this MS Edge to something else. So you can just right click on the rename button and add an extra character or something. So I'm just going to type in MS Edge 1. It could be anything, doesn't have to be that though, but I'm just going to type that in for this video. And now that you've done that, if you go ahead and right click on it, select create shortcut, it'll say you have to create a shortcut on your desktop, select yes. We're going to rename the shortcut on our desktop and we're going to call it Microsoft Edge. And double click on it just to make sure it works properly. This has nothing to do with this tutorial, it has to do with uh, backing up pictures and documents, which doesn't have anything to do with it, it just happened to be a timing thing. So that didn't create that pop-up, by the way. So you can see Microsoft Edge is working. So you can now remove the taskbar shortcut for it, just right-click on it, unpin from taskbar, and then this new shortcut we have on our desktop, if you want to right-click on it and pin that to the taskbar, there you go, you can see it's back down here again. So pretty straightforward process, you can delete the shortcut on the desktop too at this time, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.